Are you tired of losing visitors on your WordPress website because they can't find the information they are looking for? Have you ever considered using an anchor navigation menu to improve the user experience and keep people on your site longer? In this video, I'm going to share with you how easy it is to implement an anchor navigation menu on your WordPress website by using the Cadence team and how it can make a significant difference in how users interact with your content. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. Please support the channel by liking the video or by subscribing to the channel. It's a completely free one click button. Anchor links, also known as jump menu links, are links that are instantly take you to a specific part of a, of a page. According to Google Search Central, it is mentioned that Google uses links as a signal when determining the relevancy of pages to find new pages to crawl. To make your navigation more user-friendly, one simple underrated way is to use internal links within your content to provide quick access to related pages or sections on your website. This can also help to reduce the need for excessive scrolling and make it easier for users to find what they are looking for. I'm using the free Cadence theme and the Cadence theme suite tools. You can create what you are about to see at any WordPress website. The only missing part is to smoothing the page scroll effect. For this, I will use an amazing Cadence Team feature in a second. If you don't have a Cadence Team license, you can use otherwise a WordPress plugin to do the job. It works great on every browser. This is my painting website. It's a beautiful design. And if I open my About page, as you can see, my About page consists of four sections. It is a very common website page, right? The first section introduces the painting team. The following sections introduce more details about the vision, the company story, with this beautiful timeline block. And finally, we find the call to action section when we invite the visitor to join our new newsletter. The page is clean and I want to successfully configure and implement a menu system where my users can move down the page and directly to content on any screen size while they skim contents. First things first, we begin by giving unique IDs to every section. So head over to the Gutenberg editor. I like to visualize my content by opening the list view. Open each and every cadence section. In the right sidebar, there is an advanced fee setting to configure an HTML anchor. You enter here a word or two words without spaces to make a unique web address just for this block. I enter section one and then I repeat the same procedure for the remaining row layouts. Once you're done, here's the result. Every cadence row block has a unique anchor HTML. You can check this by looking at the list view on your left side. Publish or update as we need to take one additional step. Head over to your WordPress dashboard and access the menus. Create a new menu and we'll be using the custom links option. We need now to make the linking between the menu items and the HTML anchors. All you have to do here is to enter the URL. The first URL field is the clickable text that will show up in the menu. Always use a hashtag sign in front of the anchor name and click Head to Menu, as you normally do with any WordPress menu. It's important that this name exactly correlates to the HTML anchors. Once you're done, 
Just click to save the menu. Check it out. Let's take a look. Clicking on every menu item now to showcase you. It's pretty good and has a lot of impact over the site navigation. However, there are two extra steps you can take to even improve your user experience. So navigate over to your customizer. The first activation I need to take is to under the general performance. Enable this option. Enable scroll to ID in order to make a smooth page effects. The last one is to enable the scroll to top link so that they easily find what they are looking for and it's a surely a win-win situation. Let's take a quick look into these already with the new features already enabled. It's pretty good now. As the visitor clicks on the menu item, it is moved down with the sleek and smooth effect and they easily move up by choosing the button. I like this. Finally, let's check for smaller screen size. I opening my DevTools by pressing F12. Let's set a small screen size like this one, pixel 5. And how does this look on these small screen sizes? Pretty good. So, I really hope you have learned something new today. If so, please like the video or subscribe the channel to support me. If you need more tutorials like this, I suggest you watch the video you are viewing on the screen right now. And thank you so much for watching.